Hello, my name's Hemingway Jones, and I make videos about fountain pens for curious people. Welcome. Today, we're speaking about a really interesting pen from Pinniter out of Florence, Italy, and that is their Avatar Twin Tank Touchdown Vacuum Fill Fountain Pen. It's really interesting. I'm going to give you my first impressions. We're going to ink it up, and we're going to see how it writes. So let's share that together, shall we? Okay, today we're going to have a look at the Pinniter's Avatar Twin Tank Touchdown fountain pen in the demonstrator model. Okay, here's the leather case that it comes in. Very nice, lovely, says Pinniter Ferenza 1774. And one of the things I love, you get your warranty card, but also get nice little stationery here. These beautiful correspondence cards in different colors. Beautiful pink, nice baby blue, white eggshell. I've actually already sent one of these to a friend of mine who just recently retired. Very handy, very lovely touch from Pinniter, especially for a 200 hour pen. I mean, this is probably $20 worth of stationery in here, but Florence is known for its stationery, so it's a really lovely touch. Okay, so let's have a look at the Avatar Twin Tank Touchdown Demonstrator. It's transparent, absolutely beautiful. It's lovingly cradled in this leather-like case. Very cushy and beautiful. You'd think this were a luxury pen, the way it's packaged, rather lovely. And if you remember, it has this fantastic magnetic closure, which is very satisfying. And it has this really neat locking mechanism as well, which we can get into as we progress. So if you take a look right here, this locking mechanism opens this little seal here between the two tanks. This is sort of your temporary writing tank. And this is your full complete right as long as you'd like tank. You can see that it seals up this tank from that one. But say you were on an airplane or something and you were worried about your pen burping up some ink all over your luggage. This is a perfect solution. You get quite a bit of ink, probably more than even a flight from Massachusetts to Australia would uh, allow for right there. So that's your lock and it works very well. It feels very, very interesting. I really like that locking mechanism. It feels very solid and you know exactly where you are. Here we have the steel nib, which is very nice. And I guess we'll find out how smooth it is or isn't. It's about time that we fill this amazing pen. To fill it, we're going to use Andorillium's Common Loon Black. We'll see how common it is. Loons, of course, are a very popular bird here in New England. If you go up in Maine in the summertime, you'll be haunted by their beautiful cooing over the lake. It's an absolutely lovely noise. Here we have their label. I love how small batch this feels. This is like a preserve jar. You're expecting a little orange marmalade or some strawberry preserve in this, but it's absolutely lovely. I have no idea what the ink looks like, and it's going to be fun to fill this vacuum fill. Okay, so I have a shop towel handy. These are pretty nice. They're very inexpensive, very absorbent, and tend not to leave fibers behind them. Use this for polishing up appliances and whatever else you need to do around the house, but they're very nice for cleaning off nibs. So uh, let's see if we can get this ink up. Mm, pretty nice black. What do you guys think of that? Very um, glossy, which I like. Okay, so to ink this one up, we'll just unlock it. Push the plunger back. And we're gonna dip it in and try to do it kind of on the side so we can see it because what could possibly go wrong? I'm just gonna plunge that bad boy in there. Then it's gonna get right to that section where it flares and there you go. Do you see that 
amazing vacuum action. I love that. No dramatic noise, really. Uh, the first time I inked my 823, it did this very dramatic whoosh, which I really, really enjoyed. But that's a pretty good fill for kind of a, you know, passive kind of on the side method of doing it. So now we have this, we can just lightly dry it off, especially from the grip. I'm sure you guys know that once you get it on the grip, you're going to spread it everywhere. I'm actually dressed kind of nice. I haven't changed from work yet. So I am not going to lock this. Maybe I will. It seems a little bit more poetic to lock it right now, if you will. Let's cap this and see how it writes after we clean up our little work area here. By the way, this map is waterproof, so we don't have to worry about any issues. For those of you that choose to post your pens, this pen posts like a dream. Although it is a bit long, but most pens are, but it slides on the back absolutely brilliantly. So I am a big fan of Clairefontaine paper, and I really like these. Do you see this? It's about the size of my hand, which is pretty big for a flip notebook that's still portable. It's 90 gram paper, so pretty nice stuff. Let's see how it writes. Okay, by the way, this magnetic cap makes a very tight seal. It almost feels a bit vacuumy itself as you pull it off. So that is definitely a selling point for me. So let's see what we have here. Okay, there we go. Got to find the edge. That's not the pen, that's me. Ooh, this is lovely, guy. I'm really enjoying this. I'll tell you one thing I am really surprised about immediately. This is a medium. Yep, I am having a little bit of trouble finding the edge there. Um, but, you know, it's not ideal. So let's just play a little bit. Okay, there we go. Sometimes your angle isn't the best as you first approach it. But now that I'm getting going, it's rather smooth. And there's a bit of feedback, which is nice. Makes a nice scribing noise too. I really enjoy that. The other thing I have noticed so far is that it's quite light but very well balanced and you can feel the metal on the grip it's a little slick so make sure you like that sort of slippery grip but i'll say your finger the joint of your finger is below this ridge so you're anchored there pretty far so it's not uncomfortable and it's not slippery i mean if you go like this it is but you don't go like that you just press so you know you, you have your tension between this finger and that finger that's holding it or you just cradle it and let the pen write on its own so it feels very secure it feels very nice it feels a bit more expensive than just 200 dollars, which is nice it's almost feels like glass, this ultra resin material, which is supposed to be once again, unbreakable, but who will test that? Not I. Then you have the Peniter quill clip and a graceful arch that flares up at the bottom to allow your shirt to pass through goes through the top you can see where it's pinned it's a really interesting design there's some rings here and here's something that you all should have noticed 
Maybe you were yelling at the camera to say, Hemingway, notice that, please, because we know you. And that's this ring of metal around the bottom. I love this so much. This is brilliant to me. First off, this is supposed to be unbreakable. We're not going to test it. But this really provides quite a bit of protection. So we're not going to have to worry about our cap so much in dropping it. It's also beautifully decorated Peniter in nice, beautiful cursive script. Beautiful threads here that are nice and out of the way. You know how sometimes the threads are in the way? You do not feel the threads at all with this. That's a nice touch. Also, vac fill pens tend to have that bulge in the center, sometimes a little on the inelegant side, like the Twisby Vac 700R is a bit bulbous in the center because it has to have that flare. Well, here, it's very slight. It certainly tapers, but it's not at all noticeable. So I would say the design of this is very integrated. Everything seems to be well thought out. Now, it's an Italian pen made in Florence, so where is it a little crazy? Well, I think the bit of over-engineering with the two tanks, it's brilliant. It's a fantastic feature. I really like that. I love the lock. It, it has a lock and an unlock on the back, which you can see, which is really fun and interesting. The clip with the quill is beautiful. And the design, I would say overall, is somewhat mid-century, maybe a bit in the Art Deco sphere, but being a demonstrator gives it a certain modernity. The clip has plenty of room to move. You can see that. There's a bit of a cutout here. You can feel a little bit of an indentation there, but you need that because that's where the fulcrum is. Otherwise, there'd be no place for that metal to go and it would crack. Well, maybe it wouldn't crack this. It's unbreakable, but something would give, right? I'll say something else about it. It feels a bit like corning ware. Um, it has that hard glass feeling to it. It almost makes it feel delicate, but substantial at the same time, if you will. So it's almost like it's made out of crystal, but a very tough crystal. So I really, really like it. I'm doing some squiggles here just to see my different angles and how the nib responds. Sometimes the way I write, I write very lightly. So often a nib will have a bit of trouble starting out with me until I find the right plane to rest the nib upon. I mean, you really probably should just let the pen do its own thing and then you find its area. It's pretty nice, really. I like this. See, I could see taking this to work. This would be a great journaling pen. It has a really nice precision to it. I think they outdid themselves with this. And I'm a big fan. But it just feels really precise, really interesting quite like it. So what do you think of Peniter's Avatar Twin Tank Touchdown Fountain Pen? Do you think it's as interesting as I do? I absolutely cannot wait to begin my journey with this pen. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Also, if you've watched this long, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to have you along on this journey with us. Also, membership is available. Come on behind the scenes and see what's going on behind there. I'd love to have you. 
So I release new videos each week on Fridays and I have a live fountain pen show Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I promise we will see each other again very soon further up the road. Take care.